So today I want to show you a relatively simple way of adding some glitch effects to your sounds, more specifically stuttering effect. I added also this technique to the PDF I keep on updating. If you're interested, it's available on my Patreon together with the project file from this video and from many other videos. So for this, we will use the FX grid. For now, I just have here a drum loop. It's going directly to the output. Now the idea here is to use a delay to create a stutter effect and to create glitches in pitch as well. So for this we will use the mod delay. Now with the mod delay we can control the delay time, we will change this to milliseconds, right? So we have control over the delay time and we have control over the feedback as well. Now the first thing I want to do is have control over when we get the dry signal, the original drums, and when we get the process signal. And for this we can use the blend module. The original signal will be the first channel, so if I just grab this and I drag this to the cable, it will connect the cable for me. And then the process signal, the mod delay, will be the second channel. And we want to process the drums in this case, so the original signal will go also to the mode delay. So now all the way to the left on the blend module, this will be the original signal. And all the way to the right, this will be the processed signal. Now we need a way to dictate when this will happen and there are many things we can do here. We can use automation, we can use modulation, but I will use the probabilities sequencer. With this module we can set the probability on different steps and then decide where we want to have more probability for glitch or less or not at all. So for example I don't want this to happen when the main kick plays on the first couple of steps. So I can just take them down and then add probability, let's say something like this, right for the other steps, right? So the higher the value, the more probability this step will have. And now to set the connection between things, we can use the modulator out module right under IO, all the way to the right we have here the modulator out. This will go to the output of the probabilities sequencer. Right, so now again we turn the blend all the way to the left, we get just the dry signal, and we can use the sequencer, if I use the modulator out, we can use the sequencer to switch between this, so we can map this all the way to the right. So now if I play this, right, you can see this here according to the probability, we get either the dry signal or the modulated, the processed signal. Now there are a few more things that I would like to happen at the same time. So first of all, I don't want new information going to the delay as long as the glitch effect is active. So we can use the same signal, right, to lower the level on the input of the delay, right? If I take this, if I make, map this all the way to the left, whenever we have the effect active, the level will go all the way down and there will not be any new audio, new information going into the delay. And I would also like to have full feedback, so the effect will continue as long as the glitch is active. So again, we map also the feedback, in this case, all the way to the right. So now if I play this, Right, we have three things happening. First of all, the blend will set or will switch to the process signal. There will be no new audio coming in the delay and the feedback will go all the way up. So we sort of freeze the delay. Now I want to add also pitch glitches to make this a bit more interesting. So for this, what we can do, we can modulate the delay time. So for this, we will use the random sample and hold LFO, right? And just set this to be bipolar. So the modulation will go in both directions, right? Maybe set this to about 60 milliseconds here as the starting point and then modulate this a bit, map this a bit and set this to be here with this control here to be fully smooth, right? So it will cross fade between the different values. 
Right, so now it will sound like this. Right, so we have now also pitch changes. And we get interesting results even though this setup is not complex at all. But another thing we can do to make this even more unique is to use a resonant band pass filter. Right, this will go before the delay. I will use the SF, SVF, sorry. Right now, take the resonance almost all the way to 100. Right, take the pitch modulation off. We don't need it and turn this to be a band pass filter. And now we can also add modulation to the filter, but we can make this interesting by uh, turning this into a stereo signal. So first of all, we will use another random LFO. I'll just duplicate the one I have here. And in the grid, the signals are actually stereo by default. And we can have also control over them. Right under mix, we have stereo split and we have stereo merge. So first of all, we can split the modulation into left and right, right? Everything is stereo. So now we have left and right. The left will go directly to the merge. So we can merge this again into one cable, right? The left will go unchanged, but under math here, we have invert and we can invert the right signal. So now we have the original on the left and the inverted, it will just move opposite to the left signal, right? And this we can use to modulate the filter through the cutoff CV input here all the way up, right? So now we have stereo modulation on the filter and the modulation, the stuttering, the glitch will be also stereo. Right, if you are with headphones, you can hear this quite clearly. Right, and again, this is a basic setup, but it's quite useful and can add lots of ear candy to any sound. I have here also another sort of a line here with the polymer um, synthesizer, right? And I have here another setup. Right, more or less the same. In this case, I'm using the quantizer instead of the filter just to add some uh, beat crushing. Right, so listen to this. Right, we get lots and lots of ear candy. I did the same also with Hyatt's. Right, I have here the Hyatt uh, device. And again, in this case, I'm not using a filter at all, but still I get lots and lots of glitch if I solo this actually. Right, you hear this sounds quite nice. To this I have also a bass. Sort of a chord sound. Right, if I take off, for example, on the hats, on the polymer, if I turn this off on the drums, this is now without any glitch. And now if I turn this on, you will see how much ear candy we are getting here. Just with this simple setup with the delay, It's much more interesting. And that's it. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Thank you for watching. Consider joining us on Patreon and Discord. Cheers.